Many of you have asked me for a capsule wardrobe, but I've resisted until now. I just felt restricted. But I think if we look at this as just the basics that we can build on, that this is definitely doable. As we transition from the late weeks of winter to early spring, the first item I would add to a capsule wardrobe would be a white button-down shirt, and obviously jeans. But you see that this one here has darts in front, so it is fitted and tailored, and that's the look I prefer for white button-downs. The next item I would add would be a coat again. First, you have to decide if you're a warm neutral or a cool neutral. And you're probably asking, how do I know if I'm a warm neutral or cool neutral? Start by turning your wrist over. If you see yellow undertones or green undertones, then you are a warm neutral. If you see blue undertones, then you are a cool neutral. But if you see both, you're a combination and can wear both warm neutral colors and cool neutral colors. So we'll start with the warm neutral coat again. So a cardigan is heavier than a cardigan, but lighter than a coat. And as we transition out of winter and into spring, these are really useful pieces because we don't really need that thick wool winter coat anymore, but we still need a little bit of warmth. And obviously these are great layering pieces to provide that warmth, but layers also provide depth, dimension, and interest into an outfit. So here's the cool neutral coat again as well. The next piece I would add would be a lightweight sweater. Again, choose warm neutral, or cool neutral. And as we enter the late weeks of winter, we don't really need those really thick, heavy sweaters anymore, the turtlenecks, the mock necks, but we still need a little bit of warmth. And so that's what I like about these. These two sweaters I'm showing are from Amazon, so they're very affordable. But I also like the versatility. Here I'm wearing it with jeans. Later you'll see me dress it up to various levels of elevation and how it works with other pieces as well. Thereafter, I would add pants. And if you're warm neutral, I would add black pants and camel pants. I'm showing tapered pants here because you ladies seem to prefer that. I really love wide leg pants as well. So whatever is your level of comfort, whatever looks best on you. So the pants in the warm neutral color here pair nicely with the white button up shirt. I'm gonna show you how it looks in a monochromatic outfit with the warm neutral sweater just a very chic and stylish look. A monochromatic look is also lengthening as well. And then layer the coat again over top for warmth. Again, this is that lengthening, very chic, monochromatic ensemble. Next, I'm showing you the cool neutral coat again. Here it's layered over the white button-up and the black ankle pants to provide warmth. This is a very good office outfit, lunch outfit, brunch outfit. A word about shoes. You know I love my ballet flats and that's what I'm wearing here. I hear from so many of you ladies that say you can't wear heels anymore, so ballet flats are a comfortable yet stylish option. You will see me wear heels later on in this video.
So if you are a cool neutral, I recommend these gray angle pants. They are absolutely beautiful in person. They're a light gray, but they have just a hint of blue to it. It looks very elegant in this monochromatic styling right here. You can also add the gray coat again over top for a, more of a monochromatic, chic, tonal look. To add some interest to the outfit, I would add a striped cardigan and layering tanks. The striped cardigan breaks up the monotony of the single color pieces and just gives it a little bit of interest without any loud screaming prints. The layering tanks, I wear these all four seasons. Look how different the cardigan looks with the white here and then with the black here. They're just really great pieces if you need a little extra torso warmth underneath the sweater. And then also as we get to spring, you can unbutton, unbutton the cardigan and wear the tank by itself. The last piece I would add is a satin slip skirt. I really love these skirts. They are so feminine, so romantic and elegant. They pair with every top in this capsule wardrobe and it just gives you so many elevated outfits to choose from. Dinner outfits, date nights, concerts, movies. It just gives you that level of elevation. I am also linking to some fleece line tights for extra warmth as we do tend to have some cold days in the spring and in the days of late winter. And there you have it, a winter to spring capsule wardrobe. Stay tuned because soon we will learn how to build upon these pieces with items that are probably already in your closet. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. It really does help this channel.